Okay, just a quick one, and I'll be very fast about it. I know you can never shim the shimless. Idris, if shamelessness was a face, you would be in every museum in Nigeria for people to see. I spoke from a place of pain. I am not petty like you. You think you're trying to belittle me by bringing out messages I sent to you almost a year ago to support me for an international trans pageant I was contesting for. It's supposed to make me feel less of myself. No, I'm authentic. I'm real. I still have those DMs and I'm still following you. I was trying to correct you and to tell you to receive sense. Stop belittling the transgender community. I'm barely sensitizing you and yet you took it personal and you were calling me a pig. Really? Do you want me to actually come for you with words that even your lexicon cannot even comprehend? Oh no, I would never go so low. If I wanted to be petty with you and cloud chase with your name, I would go about your insecurities. How you can never come in front of a camera without a filter. How you, can, how you don't even look good without makeup. But it's none of my business. It's personal to you. I, I barely spoke about something that concerned me and my community. And you want to you want to belittle me. And you think I'm going to back down or I'm going to shiver. I'm, I, I'm supposed to be a, a, afraid of you. But risky, by all standards, in 50 years to come, you will never be the woman that I am right now. So please, learn to take corrections. <sighs> How it goes before a fall? You think being a millionaire or having all the money you claim to have makes you a, a better person than any other person? You choose to identify with this community, but yet you misrepresent us at every given chance that you get. Well, I spoke the truth and I spoke my mind. So if you want to be bitter about it, good and fine. But I cannot be afraid of you. I am even still following you. So if you want to block me, it's good and fine. I never came to you begging for money. I only came to you asking you for support. And at some point, you are an inspiration. But so bad, inspiration ended up turning out to be a huge disappointment to me and to Hello everyone, my name is Diva and I'm a transgender here in Nigeria. We actually exist, yes, I'm transgender and not a cross-dresser. And I could only blame one person for that misconception, which is Idris. Yes, Bob Risky, I'm calling out to you because you are the actor of all of the problems we have here in Nigeria, the trans community. There's one that calls himself the Princess of Africa, throwing tantrums and shouting all over the place. You are a brand. Yes, do your thing. You are a brand. Do your thing. Don't come and start making all of us look bad or they start looking at us as retards or almost as though our, our gender identity comes first or cannot do anything important or valuable with our lives aside our sexuality or gender identity. Please receive sense, Idris. If you don't know what you want to do, don't come in front of the camera. Be a brand influencer. Do your thing, but please. That misconception about the transgender community is very, very wrong. And I've gotten it up to you. Someone needs to speak up.